there are so many different ways that you can format your podcast. You can have an ongoing show. You can have episodes go live every other week, every week, twice a week. There are so many different ways that you can create a consistent and bingeable way for your audience to listen to your podcast. But what about seasons? Seasons of podcast episodes is where you have a set group of episodes and that number can vary. We'll talk about that. But being able to create podcast episodes that have a start and have a finish before you move on to the next group. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Successful Podcasting Unlocked. My name is Alicia Galati. I'm the founder of Galati Media, a full service podcast management agency where we help business owners launch and maintain lead generating podcasts. Today's question is, should my podcast have seasons or should it be ongoing? When we mention seasons, it's a little different than when you think of episodic versus a serial podcast. Let's get into what those are first before we get into a season. Episodic means that your listener could start anywhere in the episodes, in your episode list, in your backlog. It doesn't matter if they start at the beginning or at the end, the content is going to make sense to them. A serial podcast is where it tells a story over a journey of episodes and you want your listeners to start at the very beginning in order to get the most out of that content. Now that is not seasons. <laughs> Both of these types of podcasts can be seasonal. So if you think of the serial Dr. Death, that was a huge podcast a couple years ago, and then it ended up becoming a TV show. That is something where you start at the beginning of the journey and you learn all about what this person did, and then it may or may not have a conclusion at the end. I have not listened to that podcast, so I don't know how it ends. But that is an example of a serial podcast where you have to start listening at the very beginning in order to get the most out of that podcast. Now, Dr. Death did have seasons to its podcast. What that means is that you still would want, as a serial podcast, the person to start at the very beginning. And then you have episodic podcasts like mine where you can go in anywhere and start. But I could create a seasonal podcast. Now, there are tons of different ways to create seasons for your podcast. A season is simply a group of episodes, but it allows you to create space and sometimes some anticipation for your listener without them having to feel like they have to listen every single week. Now, it is important to also note that 78% of podcast listeners actually do tune into their podcasts weekly. So you've got that small percentage where they are looking for potential other types of content. One of the reasons why someone might want to have a season is if they feel like they would like to have breaks just to recharge, to come up with new podcast ideas, as well as to feel excited about a podcast. When you are continuously creating content, it can be really hard to keep that momentum and that excitement going. And so this allows you to take breaks in order to recharge. What can seasons look like for you? Seasons can look like anything you want them to look like. I don't think that there are any hard rules for what a season should be. Usually a season looks like anything between 7 to 25 episodes. Anywhere in there you can create a number that works for you. We had one client where they would produce their podcast from January till about the end of June. Then they took a month off. And then they continued from July through November and took December off. This is an option. This is something that you can do. You can base it around your lifestyle and just make sure that you inform your listeners what to expect from your show, that it is seasons. I've also seen people do ongoing seasons. So they will continue to create podcasts no matter what. Every single week there's a new episode, but it is broken down into seasons. We have another client where they will actually have their seasons based on the astrological year. So every March, they start a brand new season. It all goes back to deciding what's going to work best for you. 
If you feel that your content does not need to be broken up into seasons, or you believe that you may not need to have those breaks in between your podcast episodes, then I think that a continuous podcast that is not based around seasons can work for you. That is something that I like to do. I just keep going. We're going to have lots of episodes here. We're not going to be based on seasons and that's okay. There are tons of podcasts that do not go off of seasons. This is not something that I can give you a, this is the way to do it, or this is the way to do it. I do not believe that there is one way to podcast or one way to have a successful podcast. You may decide later that you would like to have seasons on your show, even if you maybe didn't start that way. Let your audience know, keep them informed and excited about what it is that is coming for your podcast. If you found this episode helpful, I would love it if you shared it with a friend. And if you have any podcasting questions, please go to Successful Podcasting Unlocked, where you can submit your question to be answered on a future episode. Until next time, happy podcasting.